Hey everyone, Rico Roxas when I'm here, I'm making a comparison between the Model 1 Sega Saturn to the Model 2 Sega Saturn. The reason why I'm making this video is because, well, I haven't really made a video about these two systems. I was going to do it back in 2016, then I kind of forgot. I had these stored away for a while, and uh, now's the perfect time to talk about this comparison between the two Model Saturns. And um, the reason why I'm making this is because, well, I've gotten to the point where my collection is so big, I have to get rid of some stuff. And unfortunately, one of these two Saturns is going to be a victim as well. So that's why I'm making this video. And in the future, when I do a Saturn versus Dreamcast or Genesis or Master System, you'll only see one of these two systems in that future video. So stay tuned for that. But other than that, the Sega Saturn in the U.S., this is the U.S. variation of the uh, console because if this was a Japanese variation of either system, this would be gray with blue buttons and this would be white with red buttons. Well, the uh, eject button would be red, and the power and reset buttons, I think, would be blue as well. No, they're probably red as well. I haven't looked at the Japanese Model 2 Saturn, so cut me some slack. I do know the Model 1 Saturn was gray and had blue buttons. And the European PAL variations of the Saturn, they look similar to this, except they have gray buttons instead of black buttons. Just for a side note. I'm going to move the Model 2 out of the way so I can show what the Model 1 has, although I'll show some differences with the Model 2 in just a moment. When the Saturn was released in 1995 in the U.S., and I think later that year in the PAL region, this is the design we got. You got your cartridge input, that's for uh, expendable memory, I'll get into that in a moment. You got your Sega Saturn uh, logo right here, the logo is right there, and the printing right there, a little window to see the game spin. Your Sega logo is right here on the top left, or bottom left I should say. You got your power button, your open button, that's to open the lid, and your reset button. You also have two LEDs right here, the green ones for power, the red ones for access. On the front here you have two controller ports. I'll show the controllers in a moment. I only have the Model 2. I do have a Model 3, but it, I'd rather not talk about it. That's going to get its own video. On the side you have vents here and here. On the back you've got uh, your ACN. If you have a Dreamcast or a PlayStation 1 FAT or a PlayStation 2 FAT, you can use the same cable or AC adapter cable for your Sega Saturn. AV cables you'll need proprietary or if you can't find them for a good deal, well, you could look for the RF thing, but I'm pretty sure AV cables are pretty much cheap these days. Correct me if I'm wrong. And your communication connector, either that's for connecting to other Saturns, or I think it's probably for that modem adapter that allows you to get access to the internet. I don't know what it's for, so correct me in the comments. But right here you have your, um, where you stick your watch battery to save your games, eventually that will dry out, and if that happens, you won't be able to save any more games, and you'll lose your save content. So I recommend getting the uh, expandable memory for the cartridge slot. Right here is a button to reset this, and uh, you have a, there's a cartridge slot right here. I think that's for expandable memory or expandable graphics card. That was probably only released in Japan, or it was never released at all. And on the back here, this is a MK80000 model. The power source is 120 volt, 60 hertz, 25 watt. The serial number, as you can see, this is made in Malaysia. And on the bottom here, this is what the venting looks like. It will look different on the Model 2, and I'll show that in a moment. To take this apart, you have one, two, three, four, five screws. Information here. And now I'll go ahead and move this back and show you the Model 2 Sega Saturn. This one I actually got from a thrift shop because there's a sticker right there, which I peeled off. I got this for like 40 bucks. It was a steal. And I already had the hookups. You got your power, reset, and open button. I actually think these buttons look nicer than the Model 1, in my opinion. You only have one light right here. They took off the access light. So... I'm not sure why they did that, but I think it's for cost reduction. You may have noticed the uh, design is different. It's more of a swoop around uh, design while the Model 1, I'll bring back in shot. You have these little bumps right there. 
The reason why they redesigned the Saturn is because, well, cost reduction. When the N64 came out, uh, P Sony with the PlayStation 1 had to slash their price down and Sega had to do the same with the Saturn, which is why they released this. Otherwise, they'd be blowing out of the water, though they were practically still blowing out of the water either way. But other than that, let's get back to the uh, look around. You have the same cartridge input for your memory, your power button, and your reset button. They feel a bit different than the uh, Model 1. The reset button feels better on the Model 2, but the power button... I like the Model 1's uh, power button. The open button, as you can see, um, same design. It, the top opens, although the window on the Model 2 is more visible. You can actually see a game spinning much more here. The, hole, the holes on the side are gone, but the back is still the same. This one here, the model is different. This is a MK80,000A. Model 2's have an A next to it. The same voltage, power source. This one was made in Taiwan. You've got the same uh, AC, AV, and communication. You also have the same uh, expansion slot, reset. Well, the reset button is not present on mine. Not sure why. But you still have the same watch battery and the uh, express card slot. Here's where it gets different on the bottom. The vents are on the bottom instead of the sides. You still have the same five screws on the Model 2. I'm not sure if you can swap lids or parts and stuff, but some of the parts are interchangeable, some are not. Also, another thing, the Sega logo is on the front, just like the Dreamcast on the Model 2. Now, I don't have that many Saturn games, so I only have two games. One of them actually came with the system, the other I bought separately. I only have two games, they are Sega Rally, this is not the official case, this is just a loose case that I had lying around. And I have a Daytona USA, which is a fun game. The case is in pretty good shape. Most of these cases, these tabs break off. Mine's missing the little foam thing that goes in front of it, but that's okay. And these booklet things are really huge. Most people who had a Sega CD, a PlayStation at launch, with some of the launch games or Saturn will recognize these size cases. Thankfully they got rid of these uh, design cases and went for a more traditional size case. If you look at the Dreamcast or sorry, if you look at the uh, games like Night into Dream or the Saturn, the case is different on that. I have uh, two Sega Saturn controllers. One of them is actually a Japanese variation of the controller, which uh, I'll show in just a moment. But first, I'm going to show the American controller, which usually comes with the Model 2. The Model 1 had a different design controller, which I don't have and I don't think I'll ever get. This is what the controller looks like. You have your directional pad, your start button, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, and your shoulder buttons. When you navigate the menu, you can actually play music on there. If you look at the buttons X, Y, Z, and the shoulder buttons, they have symbols here. The uh, Z button can or Z, depending on what country you're from. I'm from the United States, so we say Z. That's your play pause button. That's your stop button. This is your uh, repeat button. This is your skip. You tap it to skip a track or go back a track. You hold it to fast forward. Hold it to rewind. The Saturn control is actually very nice. and I like how the buttons feel. Even the directional pad's not bad. And this is what the... Uh, plug look like. So we're going to demonstrate this by plugging into the Model 2 because this is a Model 2 controller. You plug it in and there you go. This controller works very well. It's decent for fighting games and uh, sh spaceship shooters and stuff like that. Here's the uh, Japanese variation of the controller. I have the Model 3 Japan controller but I'd rather not talk about it. For whatever reason, the padding on my uh, Japanese controller feels better in the hand. I don't know why, but this feels like it's never been used. And, uh, but other than that, when I play Saturn games, I use this controller. I like the colors. The star button's red. A, B, and C are colored. A is green. B is yellow. C is blue. 
X, Y, Z are gray, the shoulder buttons are red, the start button's red, the D-pad is uh, gray. Oh, and if you want it to, just for LOLs, you can actually take the D-pad piece off. Like this. See? No damage. Although, I would recommend uh, doing this while you have the controller apart. You don't want to break a piece of plastic. But if you wanted to, you can actually do this. You can stick a black... Drop it. <laughs> you can stick... Hold on, there's a piece of hair right there. Oh, wait, no, that's not a piece of hair. That's part of the plastic, sorry. <laughs> you could do this. You could have a black D-pad on this and a gray one on this. If you wanted to, I wanted to show that for LOLs. So overall, the Saturn controllers are very nice. There we are. That's better. So that concludes uh, the comparison between the Model 1 and Model 2 Sega Saturn. I do have the set of AV cables. In fact, um, they're not official. They're third-party ones because I bought these secondhand. This is what they look like. So you would stick this on the back of your system. Let's demonstrate the Model 1. So here we are. You have the uh, connection going like this. Or, oh, sorry, I had it upside down. And then you're ready to go. So, there you have it. That's uh, how you hook up your Saturn. Thanks for watching. This is Recorax 1001 saying, uh, well, hopefully this video will help you guys uh, decide, or help me decide which uh, Saturn to keep and which one will be uh, sold. So, till then, thanks for watching.